going on everybody I got this video here of the Drake it library this is with AFA auditing Haverhill AFA was live right off the bang we get these uh this Karen and Darren and you know you gotta watch it to believe it you know they re they use the resources for their failings the failings cop showed up and uh you see what happens i think you'll like it check it out like share comment and subscribe if you haven't already hit that subscribe button do so for the latest updates on all my videos hit the notifications button and without further ado let's get into the video now would you just get out of grammar school <laughs> I didn't even ask you, what was that, man? No, you're good. And what's it? Delaney? Delaney. Delaney. Okay, Irish. Okay. You're filming me. Yeah, you're a genius. Yes, why are you filming me? Okay, what is. Do you know who they are? No, I don't know them personally. She doesn't know personally. I don't know, I understand they're yeah. perfectly entitled to do this. Oh, I, so, so we're entitled? We didn't commit any crimes and you're calling the police. So, they're wearing masks. <laughs> so, at least we're on the way. I mean, that was really nothing wrong. But. All right, everybody, I'm here in my hometown of Drakeit. No. And, uh... I'm just filming you and taking pictures right now. We haven't even made it in the building. And we got some some problems. Here we go, people. Ooh. We were out cop watching, but we decided to come here because the police don't want no accountability. We listen to the scanner. And they're literally like, um, I don't want to say my location. Can you call me on the phone? So, they're shooting for that that line of no, no transparency. And, and here we are. We'll get the library before it closes. And a nice clock right here. Clock, half 
absolutely does not work. It's your computers, everybody. Uh, what are you doing? Why are you filming? What is it? Well, so you asked me what I'm doing, yes, and yes, then you yes. said what I'm doing. You're, you're filming me. Yes. You're, a, you're a genius. Yes, why are you filming me? Okay. What is your middle name? Why do you want to know? What's your social security number? Okay, so you don't, you want to ask me personal questions, No. But you don't want to answer any. No, can you put that down, please? I could, but I won't. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you know who they are? No, I don't know them personally. No, she doesn't know us personally. Public... I know, oh, no, I understand they're yeah. perfectly entitled to do this. Oh, I... so, so we're entitled to do it, you're just going to talk shit to us while we do it. Am I talking shit to you? You were. Yeah, you were just yeah. telling us we so couldn't do it. Was I talking shit to them? Yeah. Why are you? I'm pretty good. You're asking me all sorts of questions. Because she is witnessing uh, what's going on. Me. What's going I on here? Excuse me. You're excused. Yeah. No. Excuse what's, go me. what's going on here? Yes, exactly. What's going on? Closing. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. The three of you are here. You're hiding your faces. Okay. So. Just what, which part of that's at least? Say that again, ma'am. Nothing is illegal. Second floor, floor is 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 you're or intimidating. Okay. Yes, you are. You feel intimidated. Why would you walk up to someone that intimidates you? Uh, because that's how I react to being intimidated. You just glare in the face of danger. I respond to you're danger. Basically, you're, basically, to you're basically Indiana fucking Jones. And I just want to... Do you have like a whip or something? <laughs> Are you here to find the crystal skull, or? Well, where are we? Um, we're in the library, sir. No, no, where am I on this? Uh, you might want to talk to someone if you're not quite sure where you are. I think you're on the way to get This guy, I don't get people. Why are you filming me? Just. Keep walking. Don't say nothing. You bring attention to yourself.
Try and figure something out to tell them. I'm not saying anything specifically threatening. I understand that they are. <laughs> you're looking at me right now, buddy. We didn't commit any crimes, and you're calling the police. So. They're wearing masks. They're wearing masks. One of wearing a mask, yes. The others are wearing dark glasses, and they are going to set up masks. Say anything about what they're doing here. They're also intimidated. The uh, staff here won't say anything, but they. Oh, they were the intimidating the staff too. They won't come forward though. Nobody here. This, this, guy, this guy came. <laughs> this is what people say to the police. They get him on the scene. So, is, is there anything else that you need? Yeah, they need you to get a new Came back. We love we love your activism. Keep it up. What? We like your activism. Keep it up with the phone. Filming. So what are you doing though? I mean that's just that's nothing nefarious. By the way, I love your accent. Thank you. Are you guys together? Well, Are you guys together? I, I just... No. You don't have to answer questions. I just asked. Well, you don't answer questions. I didn't answer my questions. Are you from around here? Yep. From Drakeford? Yep. Ah. <coughs> See, I answered your question. Yep, I'm from Drakeford too. Get the town hall across the way, people. <laughs> the library said that he lied to the police. They said, no, you haven't intimidated anyone. You're perfectly fine to be here. And they, they witnessed our interaction. And so did a whole bunch of people live anyways. This guy's just, he's telling stories. This is live now? This is live? You're telling stories. Is this being... Are you a ghostwriter for Dr. Seuss? Because you can sure spin some tales, my friend. We've got a Karen and a Darren joining forces to make sure that no crime continues to not take place. So you're like, I mean, the word is bias. You've been struggling to find that word. No, vigilante. I mean, I know vigilante is. That, that's is the that that strong word. Well, what do you think, of Batman? <laughs> I, I don't I'm just saying you're going to uh, continue to make. I'm not Batman. Crime. I'm Fat Man. What what crimes are committed? <laughs> fat Man. Huh? What crimes are committed? You accuse me of uh, threatening you. Is that a crime? Yeah, threatening is, is violent, tumultuous behavior. That's absolutely a misdemeanor in the state of Massachusetts. Carries up two and a half years in the House of Corrections. Okay. Yeah. And I should wait here too? I mean, well, you didn't threaten me. I don't think you can threaten anybody. I mean, you're probably the most unassuming and unthreatening person I've ever seen. 
Oh, I accused you. Okay, I accused you. You said to the police, no, there's no, no. they're being very threatening. And then she said to you, what is he saying that's threatening? And then you said, oh, well, nothing comes to mind. And then you said that I was intimidating the ladies in there, but all the ladies in the library I just spoke to said not only was I not intimidating them, but it takes and it, people like you take all kinds to make the world go round. Is there exact words? We just had that conversation. Oh, what are you? I just, I'm just. Yeah, I, I can show you. All of us just had this this conversation. What's your name? Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> tell me your name. I'll tell you mine. My name's Jim. Okay, that's good to know. What's yours? I'm gonna tell you. My name's not Jim. Uh, anyway, but all my people are watching you, uh, and they're watching. So is this your, on TikTok or is yeah, it on? Uh, they're, they're watching your case. Do you want to read the comments for me? You can just read them out loud. People send them. No, but what is the, what service? This is a talking? this is this is uh, T-Mobile. It's Verizon. No, no. It's no, Verizon, no. AT and T, T-Mobile. You know what? You know what's happening well, right now. Out of the, out of the, uh, the You're making yourself look extremely silly. And they're about to come. Let me give you a quick crash course, right? They're going to come here, and they're going to basically tell you that you called the police for no reason. Now, should any other emergency that was actually a violation of the law had happened, they wouldn't get services because you called the police when you knew no crime was taking place. That's what's about to happen here. All right. So I'll give you. I'll give you the floor. Hey, oh, thanks, it's funny. <laughs> They might not even come. There's a, yeah. you know, I, so does, does this happen to you a lot? Why else have you been? No, I mean to be honest with you, I surround this myself. Fun, I surround fun. myself with normal people. There so we I go. Usually don't have Darren just coming up to me talking shit. We're gonna let like these police good. officers uh, educate yeah, yeah, yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a. Hey, invoke your fifth. Oh, shoot. Say oh, nothing. I'm the one who put in the calls. You call? What's going on? Oh, this is the fun part, guys. Yeah, tell them what happened. This is the fun part. I went into the call box. They're in there filming. First, I'm filming. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Good. New books? No, no, I've had them five years. What's going on? Ah, this guy called you guys for nothing. Yeah. No crime. You know? Yeah. Well, what Said, happened? what are you guys doing? Filming? Boom. Yeah. Why are you filming me? You know? yeah. I mean, we went through the whole library. Nobody said nothing but this lady and this guy. I understand people have feelings and whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? But to waste the resources that they just wasted and have no, you guys come calls, here. No, someone calls us. We don't mind coming up. Don't no, mind up. exactly. I understand that. You guys got to answer every call. Yeah. You know, but the call that... Uh, that was described over the phone. This guy was trying to lie and yeah. say things, you know, but what we were standing he, right there. What was he lying about? Oh, he was just saying he felt threatened and we threatened him and this and that. And yeah. see, I, I've been nothing but nice to the guy, telling him I loved his accent. Yeah. He said I had a mask on. Yeah. I went like oh, this, we took my glasses yeah. off. Well, no, I mean, what's I the big know. deal? You know what I mean? I'm not hiding nothing. It's just like people yeah. like you yeah. wasting yeah. resources. Hey, but we did nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that we, we got a call here today. We all agree that we did something wrong. You said on the phone that we were threatening. Then they asked you what we were doing to threatening you. And then you said, well, I don't know exactly. Then you told the 911 dispatcher that if, we were threatening if, the staff. Then the you, staff said that you were crazy and so that we had guys, every right to be. Do you guys feel threatened? I felt I very felt, uncomfortable with yeah. what these guys were doing. Right. And I just yes. asked them what they were Absolutely. doing. Yeah. And okay. they said... And we, they're, 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 they're entitled to film us, I understand they that. They could have said, but, we're but, working um, on a project. Couldn't you can you tell me your social security? Yeah, it's, it's understandable. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so my business is none of yours, and your business is none of mine. We should keep it that way. So, you, there's a, you know, if there's no direct threats being made, you can feel uncomfortable, feel threatened, but that's still... There's not even sideway threats being made. It's simply us filming. He walked up. Listen, you're the, re the responses to their questions or whatever, whatever you were saying was no, making he just, him feel uncomfortable. We, no, he just didn't get the answers that he wanted. He wanted to know why we were doing it, who we were doing it for. Okay. All the questions that had answers that were none of his business. Okay. And he said that yeah, we were intimidating we him. And my question is, why are you going to walk up to someone that's intimidating him? Right. He, he knew there was no crime, and he called you guys because we wouldn't answer his questions. Gotcha. 
What's your name, bud? No. In badge? Brendan. Thank you. Mahoney, 103. We met the other night. Randy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. We, we, talk, we talked the other night for a while. Okay, so I, I see I see so many of these guys. You look different with your hat on and shit, too, okay. with the jackets. I think, eh, not too bad, you know. I was nothing but, but friendly to this guy. I even told him I love his accent. They were concerned because I was wearing a, a, a mask, you know? Oh, the gentleman that was... The guy that just left, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, he did have an accent. Yeah, you know, and it's like... All right. So you guys just honored him, doing your, doing your thing? No, I'm just out here. Uh, I have my, my Darren radar on today, and then subsequently my Karen radar. And as soon as I walked into the building here, it started going bananas. Okay. Off some All right. And then I didn't. I was overwhelmed right. with Karen you. and Darren. Okay. But you guys were here to help us figure it out. So thank you very you guys much. All set? Take yeah, care, we're, buddy. You, you got nothing to tell us or anything like that? No, no, no. Okay. no. All right. I mean, I, I would like to tell you that he's a he's a, a dick with ears. <laughs> all, right. all right. Have a good night. Have all a good guys. night, Officer Mahoney. Thank you. Guys. All right. Take care. No more private phone calls, all right? <laughs> I want to hear the radio chatter. There it is, people. So I don't even know what that guy. <laughs> we get our. Uh, they they got to respond to the call, but you know when they show up, it's not so so pleasant. It is what it is. Drake it. He's hauling ass. Drake it. <laughs> what the guy? Yeah, he's hauling ass on his 10 speed. Look at all the stories they made up. Wow. We're wearing masks. I mean, he got a mask on because it's cold outside, but all, they're all wearing masks. It keeps me a wearing masks. What the hell, huh? My Karen radar was. I, I, I went. <laughs> Not to be confused with my stud finder that was like. <laughs> and then it died when it got to MAA. I blew the battery on that oh, piece of crap stud finder. Yep, that was a crazy short, quick audit. Police responded. It just so happens that they both knew me and uh, they knew nothing was going on wrong. They knew that before they got here, but they still have to respond to the call. And here we go, people. Here we are, you know, <clears throat> seeing the police off. There's one of them right there. Hey, Karen, come hop in. Come on back to my house. Let's dust the, let's wipe, let's dust the webs off this joint. <laughs> hey, I'm meeting that flag baller at half mast. You know, half staff. He took a picture of you, right, Randy? Yep. It is a beautiful building. It's the Drake Library, guys. All right, we're going to call this one, people. All right, well. Peace.